OpenAI just launched ChatGPT 5 and it's absolutely mind blowing. For example, now ChatGPT is simplified into just one model because this model is so powerful that it was able to replace everything else. And by the end of this video, you're gonna know everything that you need to know about ChatGPT 5 and a few different use cases that really show off just how powerful this is. But first and foremost, we need to talk about the new UI changes to ChatGPT 5, the different models that now show, and a few settings that they have completely changed. So what you're gonna notice now is that there's just GPT-5. In addition to that, there are two other models, GPT-5 Thinking and GPT-5 Pro, but we'll get to those things later. In addition to that, we could see right here that they changed what this UI looks like. There's now this thinking longer right here, and there's a few other things that actually show up here that didn't exist before. In addition to that, if we come over into settings right here and then click on personalization and custom instructions, you're now going to see that you can change what personality ChatGPT should have and these traits and things like that mean more than they ever have before because now ChatGPT is really going to be taking that into consideration when it gives you responses. In addition to that, if you come into connectors right here, you wanna make sure you have all these enabled that are relevant for whatever you're doing on ChatGPT because ChatGPT is going to be able to reference these now when using GPT-5 and it is going to make your responses so much better, especially if you have your calendar and your Gmail or email actually hooked up to it. Now, in terms of other changes that have come with ChatGPT-5, I want to actually walk through this because I created this for us. So, GPT-5 is the smartest across the board model that ChatGPT has ever dropped. It gives more useful responses across math, science, health, finance, law, and so much more. In addition to that, it's like having a team of experts on call for whatever you wanna know, and it's designed to give you the best response every single time. This is what it actually looks like with its comparison to all the other models, Claude 4 one Grok 4, and OpenAI 03. As we can see right here, it is by far the best. When it comes to a high level summary, a few things I wanted to call out. First and foremost, this replaces all other chat GPT models. There's no more now switching between different models. This is state of the art across almost every single benchmark. It's much more faster, it's more useful, and right now, this is the best coding model. It's better at writing at taste, it's much less likely to hallucinate, it has almost double the context window, which is huge, because now it can take into consideration so many more things, like videos, photos, PDFs, all at one time, or just handle a lot more data. It's much better at design aesthetic, and it's way better at inferring what you mean through prompts, even if you don't have context. Now, in terms of who's this rolled out to right now, it is getting rolled out today to free, plus, pro, and team users. Enterprise and EDU are going to get access to this next week. Plus users get higher rate limits, and pro users get GPT-5 Pro, which is basically GPT-5, but on steroids. In addition to that, a few other things to note that I have here. Free users can now chat for hours. Sorry, that should actually say plus or higher is pretty much unlimited. Um, this has an upgraded voice model that is much more natural, it's much smarter, and it works really well with study mode. Like I said before, you can now customize the color of things and you can customize the different tone and voice that it's going to have. Memory has been improved. And like I said before, you can connect other services like Gmail, Google Calendar, and things like that in order to get better results. And before we get into a few of those crazy use cases, I wanted to remind you that you need to smash that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date on the latest and greatest changes in AI. I upload videos like this almost every single day and you're not going to want to miss them. Okay, now use case number one that I want to show off here is actually something that's blown my mind. I actually found it on Instagram. RPN right here got early access to ChatGPT 5 and you could see that he posted this right here. Give me a threads post that is guaranteed to go viral. This went through and gave him this post here. Now the craziest part about this is that this was actually his most viral threads post ever. This adds credence to his theory that the infinite content machine is coming and that AI is going to be able to make better content than humans. Now, of course, this is text-based, this isn't a photo, this isn't a video, but this is a glimpse into the future and where we're going to be going. And this was use case number one that I really wanted to show off because this really shows off how much better this is at writing, at thinking, and at creating text-based stuff like this. Now, use case number two that I wanted to show off is how good this is at actually creating things. For example, I uploaded AMD's recent earnings report here that we could see that I downloaded right over here as this file right here. 
What I did was uploaded this and I used the prompt create a visual dashboard for my CFO. It's for our upcoming Q2 2025 earnings report. In addition to the dashboard, please give us any insights, next steps, and warnings. What this did was it was able to infer from that what a CFO would want to see and it actually broke out all of these different things right here. As we can see, this created this dashboard, this gives these insights, it gives the next steps, it gives the warnings, and if we wanted to actually change anything, we could just come in here and tell it what to change, and it will go ahead and do that again. What I'm really trying to show off here is that ChatGPT is way better now at inferring exactly what you need, inferring exactly what you want, and being able to deliver on that on the first try, and you not having to go back and forth several different times. In fact, this even gets better and better if you connect your calendar and you connect your Gmail and you have memory turned on and it understands how you like these things created. Or maybe you've spoken about your CFO to ChatGPT before in the past and they know that they like things a certain way. This will actually memorize all of that, learn all of that the same way that a human would and then be able to deliver on par results. Now use case number three is going to be getting this to explain things medically that are really important. If you haven't seen it yet, there was a very touching story during the OpenAI Live where this woman had cancer, she was diagnosed, and she didn't know anything about it. And she felt like she was just getting like weird answers from her doctor and didn't really understand what was going on. So I'm trying to recreate what she did right here. And I put a medical report here and I said, help me understand what is going on and next steps in plain English. So this goes through and shows me that this is a summary of findings. By the way, these are not my findings. I don't have breast cancer, but this goes through the diagnosis, type of cancer, the grade, the tumor size, the spread, additional findings. This goes through different margins right here, goes through other things like lymph nodes, other tissue changes, how your hormones have responded, the cancer stage, what this means. And then this also goes through likely next steps and things to discuss with your doctor. So no, I don't think that this is going to replace a doctor right now, but this is great to have to be able to talk to something. I know that I've had this experience before in the past where I've gotten results from a blood test or I've gotten results from my doctor or I do this Pernuvo exams and I got results from that and I had nobody to talk to right then and there when I was actually anxious, but now ChatGPT is really, really good at deciphering these things and telling you what follow-up questions you should ask your doctor. We're telling you what follow-up questions you should talk about and maybe other things like whether or not you should get a second opinion based on results here. And again, what we fed into this is a bunch of medical jargon that I don't actually understand. Now, the next use case I wanted to show off here is how good this is at coding, because this right here is pretty mind blowing. I said, create a beautiful, highly interactive web app for my partner, an English speaker who's trying to learn French. Track her daily progress, use a highly engaging theme, include a variety of activities, a bunch of different things. One activity should be this, and it actually goes through what that activity should be. So now we have this app right here. This one shot at this. I have flashcards. Quick quizzes. I have listen and type, mouse and cheese. I have a word bank. I have different settings in here and I can come through and I can actually mess with this. And this is absolutely insane. Why? Because now you can vibe code straight inside of ChatGPT. And one other thing I wanted to call out is that I've literally just showed you what is available with ChatGPT's flagship model. Remember, this model is now free. Everybody's going to be able to use it. What does that mean? That everybody has the power of this in their pocket 24 seven, and I haven't even really scratched the surface of things that you are going to be able to do with this because I want you to think about this. If you have a genius in your pocket that can understand videos, can understand images, can understand podcasts, can understand audio, and can understand everything that you know by connecting to all your different apps, what do you think this is gonna be able to do? This is going to completely change the world. Now, another thing that I did want to highlight here around use cases, if we come over here, deep research, I don't think is really going to be used or be that important anymore because if you turn on think longer mode or you just come over here and use GPT thinking or GPT-5 Pro, it's going to be incredibly powerful and it is going to do as good of a job as deep research used to do in a much quicker period of time. So I just don't think that that's going to be as useful moving forward. In addition to that, this new model makes agent mode way more powerful, makes creating images 
way better. And if we come into more, turning on connected apps is going to be a must because if you do not have this turned on, you are not going to be able to give ChatGPT access and insight into a lot of your other life. And you want to make sure all of these are connected. I cannot emphasize this enough because if they're not, you're going to be operating on ChatGPT like you were in 2023 when it didn't have access to all these things. I would strongly suggest that you embrace this. You take advantage of this because we're living in some of the most exciting times ever and the people that take advantage of AI are going to propel their lives and people that bury their heads in the sand and try to ignore this stuff are going to get left behind. Now, the last use case I did want to show off here, I asked this to create me a script for ChatGPT5 using my video styles, format, and voice, and then I gave it a link to my YouTube video. Now still, ChatGPT5 isn't able to directly access YouTube, so it needed a quick summary or the details. So what I did was actually gave it the transcript for how I made a past viral video about ChatGPT5, and then if we scroll down over here, we will see that this perfectly spit out something exactly in my voice. Gave me this, gave me upgrade one, upgrade two, upgrade three, upgrade four, upgrade five, and then a closing call out right here, which is literally exactly how I actually did this transcript right here. Now, in the past, I would have had to go into one of my ChatGPT projects in order to actually do this, but now it's a lot easier to just do this straight from inside of ChatGPT. So as we can see, ChatGPT now excels at coding. It excels at health-related things. It excels at writing. It excels at so much more that I didn't cover in this video, and there's gonna be more videos to come because the use cases that this unlocks going to be crazy. Not sure if you've seen the reports yet, but Goldman Sachs just came out and said that they think in the next 12 months, AI is going to replace over 300 million jobs. So my question for you is, are you going to be one of those people that's replacing those jobs? Or are you going to be one of the people that gets replaced because you didn't embrace AI? And that's exactly why I created AI Automation School that you could check out at the pinned comment below. In fact, I have special launch pricing right now. So if you want to stay ahead of what's happening in AI and you want to learn how to automate your work with AI, how to make more money with AI, how to build AI agents without knowing how to code, or you just want me to audit your personal AI workflow so we could speed things up for you, I strongly suggest that you check it out. Now, if you like this video, I strongly suggest you check out this video right here that shows you a few other hidden ChatGPT settings and features you probably don't know about, but you should be using them because they're going to increase your productivity. I'll see you over there.